No BS Radio, Saturday nights with Cool Chris in the mix. And Michelle on that social, exclusively on The Surge. That's right, party people. Friday night on The Surge, DFW. We're on the TuneIn Radio app and, of course, on Odyssey. And uh, we'd like to get down for you. And I'm telling you, man, we, we are 1,000% huge variety as far as what it comes to what we play on The Surge, man. Because, you know, if you want to hear some uh, some ratchet-ass music, man, we can play that. If you want to hear some, uh, some Key Sweat, we can play that, too. If you want to hear some Metallica, we can play that too. We just kind of do what we do, you know what I'm saying? DJ Cool Chris on the ones and twos. And uh, Michelle on that social. Michelle? Hello. How you doing tonight? What's up? Man, very exciting tonight, man. Very, real, real exciting. <sighs> After listening to that song, it's kind of hyped me up. <laughs> I'm telling you. Don't be getting down sometimes, man, for real. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So what's going on, babe? Um, you know, um, funky, I mean, Friday night. Thank God it is Friday, you know? Yes, 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 for sure. Man, and you know, and uh, when's the last time we did a Friday show? I believe the last time it was we had a Big Mont. All right, Big Mont? Yes, yes, for sure. So usually, guys, we'll do a um, Friday night ladies edition, but um, we just do those on a case-by-case basis, and so... I know that you guys are kind of sometimes confused, but we have the calendars that actually I am the one that um, books the artist. And so we um, also, Chris has a day job. And so we try to uh, accommodate all of the artists and um, when they're dropping music. Um, sometimes we can't get to everybody when their music's released. And so therefore I just try to, um, you know, get them on the calendar as close as we can. Um, so yeah, so I stay busy. On the sly, everybody, in case you don't know what I do during the day, I'm a taquero. Oh, my God. <laughs> Actually, I'm a taquero taster. That's okay. what normally happens. So not really a... It'd be cool to be a taquero. That'd be, that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, I probably couldn't. It, talk, remember, like, get high on your own supply? That'd be me. Yes, yes, I'd yes, be eating all sure. the profits, and, you know, that's, that's just... You can't go wrong with tacos, you know? I know. Every, every so often, you know, there's like a... Um, you get a burger, and then sometimes the burger just ain't that good. And uh, But tacos, yeah. I mean, very rarely. Unless there's too much... But that's a late night food, though. Too much grease in it, and that's different. You that's know? a late night food. For real. That's pretty cool, though. Man, so uh, we are excited mm-hmm. to have Grifa in the house. Yes, and, and, we are. And, you know, let me, since we met this cat, man, and I don't, I don't even know, I've been practicing for this interview since Trend Fest. <laughs> because uh, um, I just think, I don't know, I don't even know what Grifa means, but I've, I, <laughs> I was I was straight, you know. <laughs> I'll be walking into the to the house, and I'm like, we got Grifa in the house, and I'm like, <laughs> and I just just been practicing, man. It just like it just it just rolls off the mouth like so slick and cool, and and it just likes a cool ass fucking name, man. So I was like, man, we so were, we were hype. Yeah, we were hype, man. So uh, uh so you got your mic on, bro. Check one two one two. It's on. It's on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think it's on. How you doing tonight, man? Man, I'm feeling good, bro. It's Friday. I'm, uh, you know, I just, I just uh, got home from work, and you know, what I'm saying it's time to relax here with you guys. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, guys for for joining us. We know it was a, a long drive, so. Oh yeah. It but I nice, mean, it was a nice drive. Though. Yes, pretty, yes. Pretty, um, pretty scenery. I like yeah, it. I like it. yeah. Downtown Dallas is like it's either you can flow through the traffic you know smoothly or you get don't lie don't then. lie you can never <laughs> flow through dallas traffic well i know but I'm you know sorry. it's like they have the buildings you know with the omni hotel all the lights and stuff so usually you like to get stuck around that area but it's just like yeah. man i mean we i'm um, joking yeah, yeah. yeah. no dallas we whenever we go through there it's like you know dang and and lately i've been watching these uh youtube videos and and uh so we have a daughter oldest daughter lives in california nice and um, she's like right at the border, like of like LA, but um, she's in Baldwin Park, I guess. And so, 
you know, man, oh, we, we went over there last year and the traffic was fucking crazy. Really? And it's like people, we talk about like Dallas Tollway. We, we went over there yeah. last year. I don't mean to cut you off. Yeah, no. we, because I've never been to Cali, but you speak yeah. of it now. Yeah, the I traffic, I, yes. I went when I was a kid uh-huh. and then I was like seven years old. So, yeah. you know, I could I remember the yeah. weather. It was yeah. chill, cold. But then we yeah. went again when uh-huh. COVID and all that stuff. It was okay. just opening. LA was opening. Yeah. And so it was cool because we went into a restaurant and... And when we everybody sat down, uh, when uh, this guy got up and started clapping because the you know the restaurant was open and there were locals, you know. Oh what yeah, I'm saying? yeah. So everybody started clapping and we so we all started clapping. And yeah. Like, hey, it's cool, yeah. you know. We like it was cool to be in LA. Yeah. You know, so no, yeah. I mean the we over there we were just like man, traffic is crazy and and yeah, um, but I mean here it's just like you know everywhere they have their good and their bad. But yeah, lately I've been just watching these. Um, so I don't know. You haven't listened to the show before. Probably this is like back in the day when we were. I would watch like the police chase videos up here, and the majority of them were in, in California. Oh, no, California, they were in California, okay. and so yeah. that's the worst thing. But yeah, it's just one of those one of those things. So yeah, when we're driving through Dallas, the kids like to check out the buildings and oh, the yeah. Reunion Tower and stuff. But man, Dallas is, has changed so much, like just throughout the years. So you guys are from Fort Worth? Yeah, Fort Worth. Okay. Fort Worth, have yeah, you like sure. have you lived over there like all your life? Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I was born in Fort Worth. Okay. And then I was raised in Mexico. Okay, nice. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was raised in Mexico by my grandma, my uh, and then my aunt and uncle. They raised. Okay. Me. So that, okay. and then and then you know after yeah. that my biological mom came in. And, uh, yeah. They, okay. Then they raised me. So you know I've been raised yeah. by quite a bit of people. Yeah. So no. I've got a lot of culture in me, you know, like. That's that. good. That's yeah. good. So um, when we went to Fort Worth, uh, we met you at Trendfest, yes, and so yes. um, were you able to do a lot of networking out there? We met a lot of like like you and and yeah, yeah. Well, I mean we met a lot of people. So did you get to do a lot of networking while you were out yeah, there? Yeah, I mean okay. I, I, I you know I saw some people that I knew and yeah you know and uh, we we just kind of you know shook hands and everything and just like yeah. reminiscing whatever chilling, but then uh, yeah no it was it was honestly um, I was just uh, so glad to see that Fort Worth has something like that. Okay. I'd never been there, yeah. so when I yeah. went to, um, you know, I, I just, just I'm, I'm talking about the stage. It, yeah. it, I was just shocked. And oh, like, yeah. This is what Fort Worth should, you know, this is, it was, it was yeah. I was proud, you know, I was proud yeah. because I'm from Fort Worth, uh, but to see a stage like that, you know, it was, it was nice. You know, yeah. it was nice. It was beautiful, and uh, I was like, this is what we needed, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't, ha- we didn't have anything like that. We don't have anything like that until now. And especially, think, especially where the location's at, man. man yeah. it's, it's everything's turning around there. They're turning uh, downtown uh, into a beautiful, beautiful area. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I was, I was just glad to see that stage with that awesome the sound, the sound system. I was like, oh, I was just amazed. And yeah. I want to be, I'm gonna be on that stage. I'm telling you, I mark my words. I'm gonna be on that stage. I would be proud to be on that stage. I believe because it, I believe uh, it. it's, it's beautiful, man. And we yeah. needed something like that. Yeah. yeah, we, um, so Chris, you know, tells all of the artists, you know, since we started this, Chris, Chris is, his goal is to have some, somewhat of like a music festival, but he wants to feature all of the artists that we've had yeah, on the definitely. show, so that would definitely be oh, um, yeah, know, for sure. something, yeah, just because uh, we've had so many um, different, different artists, you know, different types of music and stuff like that, yeah. so I think it'd be pretty, um, I think it'd be pretty amazing. And yeah, we yeah. thought the same thing about the stage there, too. Man, uh, it's yeah. it's beautiful, and, and we were like, wow, man, and, and uh just imagine just just packing that house down with you know a whole bunch of people and and you know what it's to me it's like a bittersweet thing because when i go to places like that and i see a stage like that i get so anxious because i want to be on that stage so bad at that moment to perform and i would do it on on the drop of a dime i would do it and but i was like i always get anxious like i just want to be up there so bad and it's like that's kind of how i feel anytime i go to an event or yeah. You know, where it's they're banging and the, the you know everything the music is awesome. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, I just yeah. that's what I feed off. It's of. like the rush, yeah. Yes, that you I want to be up there and just you know oh, just enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's awesome. It's an so, awesome feeling. Have you performed anywhere before? Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah? I've uh, okay. I performed quite a bit. <clears throat> okay. Quite a bit actually. I've I've performed quite a bit in my life. Uh, and I've had that joy to, to enjoy that, yeah. that rush. And, That's cool. And every time that I get up there, it's a rush for me. So, yeah, yeah no, I've been I've been on stage, I mean, I can admit that quite a bit. Um, so. Low rider shows. Oh, back, really? Back in the days, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, and still, and still, like I said, we, we've been rocking it this year. And yeah. now that it's finally opening up, you know, Fort Worth and uh, Dallas. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're having car shows now. 
and yes. stuff like that. So yeah, I've been at a couple car shows, um, and we went to Houston, performed there at a car show. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I'm, you know, so so I, I know quite a bit of people in DFW, and we've been doing a lot of stuff with like Dope House back in the day, Dope House. Yeah, uh -huh. So we've been kind of messing with them and working with them because they're fam, you know. Yeah. They're family from Houston. We know them way back. So yeah, that's stuff cool. like that. Yeah, I mean for sure. Yeah. And so we, we... we've been we've been performing. That's that's good. Um, we have like a, we've interviewed a lot of younger artists, and so do you, would you have like any advice for you know, let's just say the younger artists that are up and coming and that have never performed before. You know, like I mean, a lot of them are just, you know, they're just starting out. You know, but I mean, do you have any like advice? For, I mean, you know, honestly, for as far as advice would go, yeah. As far as performing and being nervous, you know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the case. I mean, practice. Practice yeah. makes better. I never say practice makes perfect. Yeah. yeah. Practice makes better, but practice. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what I would say. Is just okay. I I still practice. I know yeah. I I set up my speakers and you know my pro sound in front of in my in my in my yeah. living room and I'll grab a mic and I'll perform. And I'll yeah. perform my set that I'm gonna perform a couple yeah. of days from then or whatnot because that's what makes you better. I know yeah. we. Um, so our daughters, they they're in like competitive dance. They dance nice. for a studio nice. and. Um, you know, one of the things that they've had to learn is that when they're learning the routine, of course, like you said, you know, practice makes you know better. Um, and so they practice and they practice, you know, and it's something that a lot of money goes into. But um, our girls also have to learn how to dance and they're dancing with music, but they also have to be able to continue in case there's like a technical difficulty that, you know, the music stops to where um, it's it's happened. And they've actually like we've. So they have to take over, basically. Yes, like, yes, yeah. we've, we've seen, like, you know, teams actually, like, stop. And if the music doesn't start when it's supposed to, they will stay there. And and we as a crowd, as moms, you know, as parents, we're, like, applauding them because they're, they're standing up there, you know, whatever position they're in, you know, and it's just a lot. I think a lot of people don't know, like, what goes into, like, a stage performance, you know, yeah. as opposed to, like, and, um, yeah, 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 I mean... Just to just you know, she uh, Sarah tells me all the time. You know, she's like, I couldn't imagine being up there and singing or rapping or whatever. I couldn't yeah. even imagine doing that. And I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, it takes yeah. a lot of guts. You oh, know, yeah. it's, 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 it takes a lot of guts, but um, yeah. at the end, it, you know, it pays off. Um, it's, it feels great. I mean, if you yeah. if you're a performer and you're an artist and you know that's what, you know once you get on stage, there's not a feeling like it. You know, there's yeah. nothing like it. There's not a uh, something that could fulfill that other than being on stage and performing. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's great. Yeah. No, I agree. It's so funny because like uh, I'm kind of like the uh, the opposite. I like to um, it's easier for me to do something in front of thousands of people as opposed to a handful of people. It's like I'm right. I'm nervous in front of a handful of people, but when there's a whole bunch of people, it's like eh. It's yeah, like you I mean, just exactly nobody just, nobody knows if you're looking at them or not. So. Yeah. <laughs> just like <laughs> you, know, like, you get them get them all hyped up. Like oh my gosh, just look at all their foreheads. Yeah. Just all of them. Just, just yeah. Don't look at their eyes. You know that's what I always always tell them. Man. Like look at look at people's foreheads when you're performing. Don't you know they don't know they don't know you're not looking at their eyes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, you don't that's actually true. have to look anybody at their eyes. So That's true. I mean, and, and I'm not saying, I mean, that's just sometimes people, that helps as well, people. Yeah. I mean, if they've never heard that before, that's, that's actually kind of a secret thing. You know, just look at their foreheads. Don't don't look at their eyes. Just perform and, and look at their foreheads. That's it. So has there been anything crazy that's happened to you when you've performed? Um, like, the, like the craziest thing? Not, not really. I really? mean, okay. it's always been kind of just, you know. Do my do my thing and yeah. have a good time, but yeah. I don't think I've, I don't think I've experienced anything crazy. Yeah. No. I mean, we were um, so I don't know if you've seen the uh, versus deal that they have on YouTube, but um, Chris and I were watching it the other night, and of course we watched uh, the one with Keith Sweat, you know, and Bobby Brown, and and it was crazy just because you know Keith Sweat, you know, he still has that like the way he was just sitting chilling on the stage, and then when he started to sing. I laughed because I told Chris, I was like, he's probably fixing to get like underwear thrown at him like at any moment, you know, because he was just singing, you know, a lot of the throwbacks and stuff right, like right, that right, too. Right. But I mean, like, I'm pretty sure, you know, a lot of artists have seen or just dealt with like a lot of crazy shit when they perform, but. Um, no, not, yeah. never, 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 like, not, not, yeah. not crazy like that. Oh, that's, that's good then. It's, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So far it's been, it's been safe. And, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 yeah, I mean, I really can't say other than that. I mean. <laughs> Okay. It's it's always just been music. I mean, yeah. it's just the love of it. So, are you a one-person performer, or do you have like twenty homeboys in the back? 
hyping you no, up. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'll do my own thing. Okay. Um, except when I, you know, I collab with, I collab with a oh, lot yeah. of artists. So, okay. Um, I, you know, a lot okay. of, a lot of artists, you know, want me, like, they ask me to do hooks for them and stuff yeah. like that. So, you know, that's, I'm always down for collabing. I guess in my thing, if I ever collab with somebody, it's like more of a personal thing because we'll sit down in the studio and think of what the concept of this song is going to yeah. be okay. and that's to me is my passion yeah. like let's create this from scratch yeah. you know and, and and yeah that's 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 why I like to collab to be honest yeah. with you because I feel like my brain kind of expands you know as because I'm working with a different person, you know, yeah. different, different mind. So we're like, when we're I mean, together. we've seen those videos where there's like the performer, but then you can't really tell because he gets lost in the crowd because there's like 40 yeah. people up there. <laughs> no, no. So yeah, but no, I, I remember those <laughs> days. Oh, I did, I did perform that way as well. At yeah, one point. okay. Yeah, I did actually. It was, it was cool. And then you know, we always end up, you know, like fights after that and all that. <laughs> it was a long time ago, you know. But I was like, hey, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I was, I was the one that was like, man, I'm here to perform, man. I'm just want to perform. I just want to, yeah. you know, just, just, just show, then show. Sometimes Sometimes, sometimes you get you get random people that it, 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 happen to get on stage somehow, and everyone's like, yeah. "Hey, who's that? I don't know. Is that your homeboy? I don't know." It's, and it's <laughs> like, yeah. "What's up, man?" And it's like, "Whatever." The more the merrier, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how I see it. Man. What song do you want to play first? Me personally? Yeah, for the uh, for what you uh, what you sent us. What, what, what yeah, you... man. Uh, so um, I, I just recently. I mean, I, I basically I haven't released an album or anything like that. So I've just basically in the one year I've kind of put together. And, and I've got about 20 tracks, man, that I put together with artists and, and other people that I work with. Uh, but my personal stuff, my personal, one, one of my favorites that I just created, you know, one night just chilling, freestyling and stuff like that and just putting it together, man, you know, after and it came out with it. Um, I, my favorite song is Jet Lag. Uh, my personal favorite song is Jet Lag. And right. I mean, I, I you know, it just kind of came out of uh, one night just kind of chilling, man, and you know, I was feeling like, you know, I needed to create something, uh, and and to prove, I kind of proved myself to myself. You know, if you must, um, I mean, and I made this song, and, uh, and and it just came out perfect, man. And and I sent it to mastering and all that, and and it, and it just when he returned it, I was like shocked yeah. of what he gave me back. And so I was like, hey, man, it's cool. So that's probably the next video I'm gonna shoot too, man. Maybe you guys want to be in it. You know, you guys can be in it. We down for sure. Yeah, right, I mean, that'd right. be awesome to to be. I'll. I'll I'll be your DJ if you let me, man. <laughs> Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Yeah. So, uh, um, ladies and gentlemen, we have Griva in the house. <laughs> I just had to say your name again, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Appreciate it. You know what? I, uh, th that that name, man. If you guys uh, you guys said it earlier, you guys. Well, I don't even know what it means. So basically, Griva means. Uh, I got. I got it. I got. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. My cousin. Um, he was. You know, he's older than us. And he was a skater, man, and his dad would get on his ass because he was always getting stoned and getting high. And <laughs> so he, they call him, he's a, you know, and so in, in Spanish, and you say, es un pinche grifo, he's like, he's a fucking pothead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's a fucking pothead. So they said, pinche grifo. And they would call my cousin pinche grifo because he would always be stoned. And so, like, you know, grifo, you know, I always thought, like, that, that's, that's a cool name, but it meant, you know, you're a fucking stoner. So... I also looked up grifa. I was like, grifa is basically the word for cannabis. You know what I'm saying? Or sativa or whatever, you know? Yeah. And so that's kind of where I got my name, dude. And, you know, I always looked up to, to my cousin and looked up to all of them. So that yeah, pretty much grifa means uh, cannabis. <laughs> yeah. So we need someone to come out with a strain and we'll they'll I, call it grifa. Yeah. That'd be I, awesome. Man, I, you know what? I've, I've got the connection for that. See? I actually do. Um, and, and we went and had a show in Oklahoma with them, actually. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I had a That'd show. That'd be pretty cool. We were, we, 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 it was nice. It was a good show. It was yeah. nice. Uh, I've got footage of that. I'll share with you guys, too. Uh, oh, it was a, it was, a, it was actually on 420. We had a 420 show. And man. Yeah, no. So I'm actually, I've, I've actually thought about that. And I have that connection, so I can be like, hey, man, y'all, let's come out with this strain, you know, Grifa. Yes, that's that'd, good, be, you know, that'd, that's, be a, that's, that'd be amazing, you yeah. You, you so, second the idea now, so yes, now my brain's yes, like, okay. Yes, so when you, get, okay. when you finally get some, we will be very happy to, yeah, to try to it out. Yeah, rub it on your, yes, uh, on yes, your yes, sore yes. bone areas. Yes, 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 yeah. So. I want to rub it on my sore lungs. <laughs> yeah, oh you can do that too, bro. That's what I want to do. There you go, man. So that way people, like, if we're smoking something, they're like, bro, what is this? Man, it's like Grifa, bro. It's like Grifa, I see exactly. Man, let me, let's get some that, of that grief. I mean, let me get some of that, bro. Let me get that. that that's what that means. Yeah, exactly. So basically, yeah, man. Grief means that, that pot, yeah, that weed, that fucking be, marijuana. That'd be that, awesome. Yeah. And then they can like, I don't know. I've always just seen those pictures of like the the rainbow, you know, 
you know, just yeah. the pretty pictures of, of marijuana, and I was just like, oh, this is pretty. Like, I wouldn't want to smoke it. I just want to look at it. So, oh, yeah. Man, it's, it's yeah, that'd be pretty. That'd be pretty yeah. awesome. So, that's so, what we went to Cali for, actually. Okay. Uh, we went to Cali, you know, and it was it's legal there, so, hey, I didn't break any laws, you know? I was there, man, <laughs> yeah. and so it was, it was awesome because everything opened, but I remember landing uh, at the airport, you know, getting the van. It was a whole, it was a bunch of us. Mm-hmm. It was like 10 deep. And so we got the van, and I was like, I looked back, and I was I was the one who got the license. I was a responsible one. Uh, <laughs> I got the license and you know everything, so I got the van, and I'm like, so I'm guessing our first stop is a dispensary. And oh, everybody's yeah. like, yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's about first stop, and it was it was beautiful, like you said, just looking at it. And it was, yeah. Oh my God, it's amazing. So what do you think it's gonna take for them to legalize marijuana? I don't know. You, you know what? You uh, know what? I I legit was just reading about this, and I don't know. I mean. It, so it's 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 passed the House of Representatives federally, and now it's in the Senate's hands to make it. Once the Senate does it, then it lifts the illegalization of that, and then 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 we can enjoy it. And there's a lot of so people out on, of business. Who, so who's on the Senate? <laughs> uh, just like the uh, um, like I mean senators we, and yeah. you know I, yeah I don't just know. I was just wondering you know news wise like the name so maybe we can get a bunch of people to start writing letters and be like look. I'm sure Willie Nelson and and uh, Snoop Dogg is already on that, you know, doing it. So I don't think it'll be take too much. And and then yeah. besides that, the government can make money off of it, and it makes all of us happy, just like liquor, you know, and and makes exactly. us all of happy, and they can make money and off of it. And cigarettes, yeah. There'll be less yeah. people in jail and prison. Yeah. yeah so I and, think and, it works. And a lot people live a lot longer too. Like I said, I mean, yeah. I mean Willie just kicking it. I'm trying to live longer every day, bro. For real. Yeah. Everybody would be. Yeah, chill. I was living longer just a little while ago before I got here. <laughs> you know, we need yeah. to live long. We, we got well, yeah. Well, I've got back problems, so yeah, I need to I need I've to live as long as I yeah, can. Exactly. I've got any type of problem that uh, yeah. that needs to be CBD cured or yeah, THC exactly. cured, and um, yeah, whatever. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Let's get jet lag real quick. Let's let's go ahead and get jet into jet lag. Yeah, and y'all uh, ready to take a trip or what? Man, let's, let's take a go. trip. And uh, uh, you guys need to check out the song. And uh, we got Grifa. And live in the Surge Studios, and we appreciate everyone that's listening right now. Let's get into this track. It's called Jet Lag on the Surge DFW.
smoking on that grifa on the surge dfw the name of that track is jet lag and um uh, i can see why that's your favorite man for sure i can definitely see that make sure i got mics turned on man shell oh sorry my bad hello hello <laughs> you on now let's go smoke some grifa let's do it <laughs> so like end the show now and just bolt we can't do yeah. that. We are, we are, we, me and Michelle are, are uh, certified uh, hood botanist, you know, so when it comes to, uh, they, I mean, we're, we got green thumbs and, uh, I mean, green is just a good color, man. So, yeah. I mean, you, you can, we, 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 you'll definitely make some uh, money off of us if uh, you've got the Grifa strain. So, oh, okay. We ready for it, man. Here we go. So, how long have you been, uh, how long have you been uh, a performer, would you say? Uh, uh, I've been I've been in the music quite a bit, man. Uh, it's probably been over over ten years for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been you know doing it uh, as far as you know producing, and you know I got my own recording studio too, man. So I record a lot of artists as well. Oh, that's awesome. And so that's kind of what I you know I kind of give back that way is by uh, helping these other artists, man, put their music together. Uh, they come to me sometimes with just blank you know blank canvases, and I'll put it together for them and help them out, make them feel good, and. And what they hit with, you know, the first thing they always say is like, man, is that me? And I'm like, yeah, man, that's you, bro. That's you know, awesome. That, you know, so I do a lot of that uh, on the background, yeah, for sure. I do mean, you do you have any problem whenever you got someone uh, in your studio and, 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 and they ask for your opinion and, and you know it's not going to be the best opinion? I mean, it, would would you say you're, you're very willing to uh, give an honest assessment of someone that's in the studio? Uh, no, I think it's hard for me. I think it's hard for me, man. I always, I'm, a, I'm one of those people that like, you know, hey man, you keep it up, bro. You, you got it. You know, you're going to, you're going to, you know, just keep practicing and, and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm not saying that I, you know, I, I, I don't tell them the truth, but I, I encourage them if anything. And then I'll help them. Like I said, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty good at putting stuff together. And uh, even if they're off point, you know, putting it back on point for them and helping them out and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, uh, you know, and making it sound better sometimes, you know. And so I imagine a lot of times when you uh, when you help them in their encouragement and then you say you're doing it like this, but let's do it like this. And I'm like, oh, then like the bulb goes off and they're like, OK, OK. You know, this guy knows his shit, man. And oh, yeah, no, I get a lot of that. And that's, you know, I'm not I'm not boasting. I'm just saying like. That's when I, I can just see it in their faces sometimes, man. They they, they just they just show it by their their expressions, you know. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he likes it, you know. And I'm like, oh, cool, cool. That's what I was going for, you know. So, but uh, yeah, no, I mean, there, there there's some people. Uh, to be honest, I mean, I can I can you know witness uh, and say I, I had an artist that came and uh, and she was so off point. Uh, her she would play, she was practicing her guitar and. When she would sing, man, she would be so off point. And but I recorded her album. She recorded like four or five songs, and and I made them sound the best that I could. But I told her to practice, keep practicing, and just play an hour a day at least, and keep practicing. And she, and she she came back and and did another album with me, and I was that I, I mean it's a miracle of God. I'm like just when I heard what she had, it was it just surprised me, it shocked me, because it was a total turnaround. It was a 360. Yeah. Her vocals, her 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 uh, her tone, everything was like you know. I I knew now like she she listened, she practiced, and I'm not saying just to me, but she kept at it. And when she came back, I mean, it was it was amazing. The, the next album that she recorded, I was shocked, man. I was shocked. I'm like, wow, she made a like a believer from then. I not that I didn't, but it mean it made me more of a believer. Like absolutely, like, yeah. You can be you can do whatever you can if you want to sing. Just keep practicing and you know and take lessons, whatever it takes for you to, to, to learn how to sing and stuff. Yeah, I mean it's it's always gonna be a a, a battle, but like I said, man, I, I I could just be a witness of what I heard, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's amazing. And you consider yourself a pretty versatile artist, because I remember when you when, when we met, I was like, you know, what kind of music are you like? Man, it's got reggaeton, it's got hip hop, it's got I everything. Mean, uh, you know, sometimes I, I kind of I, I kind of shame myself because I my first language is Spanish, bro. You might not know that, but you know, people are like, I wouldn't have known that. My first language is Spanish. I didn't know a lick of English. I didn't know any English. And so I guess naturally I sing in Spanish, you know, like reggaeton and stuff where you just heard. And I mix it up with a little bit of English, but uh, yeah, no, my first language. So growing up with my grandma, man, I, I listened to all the, 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 you know, oldies, man, the, you know, Hispanic, Latino, Mexican music, bro. You know, so, and then, you know, just going from different stages, you know, I got a little bit of everything. And so just to, even to think that I rap, I'm like, or do the reggaeton. I mean, I listen, I grew up listening to grunge music, man. You know what I'm saying? In my right, teenage yeah. years, yeah, yeah. you know, Nirvana, Soundgarden, stuff like that. But um, yeah, no, versatility 
just comes with it, man, because I grew up with all kinds of, you know, different races. So I, I, I think I'm blessed to be able to say that I would, I did grow up with different races and, you know, through my, uh, through my life, man. And so I got a little bit of everything, a little flavor from everything. For sure. awesome. I think that's why a lot of people have liked the station just because we're playing a lot of different stuff, you yeah. know, and, and, um, I think, you know, with what he asked you about you and your honesty, but at the same time, you know, you producing music for people and you being like honest and telling them, you know, like to work, you work, know, to, to, work, it, at, to work at it. Yeah. yeah. And, and, um, I think it's been tough because, you know, whenever Chris, Chris listens to the music first, I'll just like book the artist and then sometimes I'll talk with them, you know, but I like to be surprised what I hear, you know, whenever, yeah, you know, we play it, you know, just the same as a lot of the listeners, if a lot of the listeners don't even know who you are, right, th no, this will exactly. be like the first time, you exactly, know, that yeah. they'll be hearing you. So I'm yeah, just like, that's that guy yeah. singing that Spanish song we just played. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And, and so he gets to listen to it. And of course, you know, sometimes too, like if I'm on Instagram or I am checking somebody out on yeah. YouTube, it's just like a song that you automatically like, you know, you, you just, you just love right away. And sometimes like. Our kids will joke around with us at Chris will because, you know, I'll like like a song and then he'll say like, man, I told you about that song like two years ago when it came out, <laughs> yeah, you know, right. but it's one of those things about like when everybody's fucking listening to a song, you're just like, man, I'm so sick of that song. And so yeah. all of this, this, this newer stuff is like crammed down your throat. And so I think that's just and I, I, I keep saying I think, but I, I, I know that's why people. Well, have you, complimented and said so many good things about just because of all the different shit that we play, you yeah, know, yeah, new yeah. artists, you know, and you guys and stuff. And it's just not the same. Well, well you know, day. next time you think about like when and then I think about it, too, but I'm saying next time you think about like how sick you are of a song. Yeah. Imagine how sick us as, as artists are of our own song because we have to perform that song. We have to learn that song. Yeah. So in order for you to learn that song, you have to like let, She's a over. she's a witness. She's, you can have to listen to that song over and over yeah. and over and over. Yeah. I mean, because you want to learn that song, you got to make sure you have it down. I'm gonna go to the store. Okay, well, while the 15 minute drive, I'm gonna <laughs> listen to this song again over yeah. and over, and then you know because tomorrow I gotta perform it or because whatever you know. So yeah. That's that's yeah. worse for us as artists. Like we just. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> that's cool though. I mean, I think for all artists, um, it's good to have a a support. I mean, anytime you, you're doing something, um, it's a good, uh, what is it like, Chris, to have a good support system? Yes, absolutely. You know, some people don't even like to support, you know, like somebody, you know, I mean, did, did, when you, when you pe had people in your family, did anyone ever tell you like, man, making music isn't going to pay the bills or, yeah, yeah, you know, no, you don't no, have no. time for that. Did you and, ever and have anybody? I mean, uh, and, you know, as far as that goes, I mean, I never, you know, intended it. I, I make, me personally, I make music. Because yeah, if I make money with well, it's great. Because oh, you know, yeah. but uh, other than that, I make music because it's like, it's what makes me happy. I mean, it's like if I don't do it, it's like me not breathing. Yeah. That's kind. Of, I mean, I know you might not, you know, relate it to that, but it's like really, to me, it's like if I don't make music, then what's you know, I I can do it and I'm I'm good at it and it feels great when I do it. I'm just gonna continue. That's why I built my own studio so that I yeah. can record my own music. I don't have to pay anybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. I mean, all, I pay for for mastering stuff like that, but. Yeah. I mean, I just constantly, and I'm not, you know, I'm not saying I'm constantly just making songs. I'm just saying, like, yeah, no. but I get to experience, yeah. you know, and other artists as well. And, 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 and as far as uh, the versatility of everybody that everybody has, you get to just listen to something new every day. Yeah. You know, I've got some artists recently that I'm like, they've shocked me. I'm like, these little young kids, I'm like, they're 18 years old and they're here sitting here rapping and making these bangers. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, this little yeah. kid just made a song and it sounds great. Yeah. And I think that's like when I was, um, you know, with Chris, I mean, a lot of artists that we interview, we can all say like, oh, you know, that's that's a badass song that sounds good, you know, but to them, they could probably think like we're full of shit, you know, because we're not going to say, hey, that was a bad song. You know what I mean? But I mean, honestly, I think, you know, there's just so much different taste out there that it's like the music that you send. I could say, hey, I like the first one, but Chris will say, no. The third one is definitely, you know, like my hit. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. somebody else could think it's trash, and then someone else be like, "Holy oh, yeah, shit! Let course. me go out and download like all of his, you know, and music and stuff." That's and so expected, you know. It's, yeah, mean. it's and it's crazy just because in the in this business, you just, I mean, there's people um, that are like paying. Us. We had someone contact us, and they actually asked um, how much it was for us to like. Um, what did I tell you, Chris? To kind of like to to um, 
to do the interview? No, not to, to judge the, the oh, song. Oh, yeah, to, 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 yeah, to, to critique it. Yeah, to critique, you know, his, his music. And, I mean, I just feel like, I don't know. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people out there that just... Everybody has an opinion, you know, but those that like want to get paid for stuff like that, it's just I don't know. But I, I, I don't know. We've we've had some crazy, and and my latest my latest one that I'm still tripping off of is a guy that I reached out to just as like everybody else, and and um, you know, and and I've talked about this a few times already. But he asked, what is what will my music you playing my music? How does that benefit you and your radio station? And we're like, you know, and so. Um, and just recently, you know, he's asking about, you know, the, the, uh, PROs and the, to the, what is it? To the BMI. BMI and stuff like that too. And I was just like, I knew what it was, but I was just like, it's simple. You know, you just send in your music. If you'd like another platform for us to play your music, you know, and, and that's it, you know, but I, I don't, I don't know. And so, then, and, then, yeah. and it's funny cause you Google this guy and it's, there's, there's no Wikipedia. There's no nothing really. Yeah. You know, and, but and, I and mean, he's worried about royalties, you know, and, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. So. And so we can we can relate to what you're saying about love and music yeah. because I mean, us playing music is breathing. Also, you know, I mean, oh, yeah, of course, through, throughout the day, I mean, here at home with our children, I mean, you know, my my nine year old listens to Prince, you know, that's and awesome. and uh, uh, you know, so there, it's always about music, and so uh, you know, we definitely can relate, you know, the love and the passion of making music that you have, and you know, the same love and passion. We have for for sharing it, man. For sharing I mean, it, for sure. Yeah, yeah and that's, that's great. You know, I mean, we need we need sources like that. I mean, and we, we thank you for you know for you for sure. just you know sending us even the music, you know, and then um, for actually you know for you being here because this is no, this is this, this is, has been this yeah. is nice. I mean, like I said, this yeah. is what we. Uh, I mean, this is how you, you you know you show the world and, and the, the world listens to your, your music is this way. I yeah. mean, distributing it, actually putting it out there. I mean, because what's the point of not having I mean, having music and not getting it played? Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna complain because they're playing my music anywhere. You yeah. can play my music all you want. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I mean, it's like I mean, it's it's sharing the, the love. You know, that's oh, yeah. how I see it. It's like you guys are sharing the love. You guys are playing it. You guys are doing what you love by sharing what you love is oh, music because yeah. we, we all relate to music. That's yeah. one thing we all have, you know, as far as in common is we all love music. Oh, yeah. You know, whatever it may be you listen to, it's it's still, you know, it's still music. I think uh, so. I think with COVID, you know, I think that the music brought a lot of people together. You know, there were so many oh, yeah. artists doing the live, you know, shows and people yeah, yeah, were, yeah, you know, exactly. and, and doing the cash app, you know, stuff, you know, to take requests and whatever and stuff like that, too. So we've, we've never asked for um, any money. I mean, even Chris, when he does like, you know, DJ gigs like for events and stuff you know um you know people will say you know oh you should put a tip jar you know and i mean where does it end you know you're not really right. hired there to to dj for someone's wedding if you know you're constantly you know taking requests and you're just i mean it just it doesn't end so it's like i guess chris with a nightclub was like the same thing you know did you get to you know play music and then you had like all these people you know come up and ask you for songs and you're just like what the hell like i mean my my, my goal was for some, when they whenever they left the club or anywhere I was performing, I was like, I want to hear them say, "Damn, that DJ made my day." I'm like, "Yes, that's 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 yeah, that's payment more than anything." To keep like the that, dance floor know. packed was it always just you know. So I mean, to to feel to get a vibe from people, you know, it's just one of those things. So I'm pretty sure it's like the same with you. You know, like if you feel you're performing. And yeah. the crowd isn't, you know, as hype as you want it to be. You're just like, man, I got to switch it up, you know, do something different. But I mean, no, yeah. all, I mean, yeah. of course, of course. Um, I mean, you know, you got to kind of play the, the crowd how it, uh, yeah. how it is and, and just kind of go from there for sure. Could you give me the next song to queue up? Which one uh, we want to do next? You know what, man? Um, I actually shot this this uh, video for the song in, in the heart of Fort Worth right there uh, off of Main Street. Um that's that's one of the songs that you know that kind of uh, it was it was deep you know what I'm saying it was one of those deep songs it just uh, you know it just kind of came out and again man it's uh, uh, basically you know to me it's like without music it's you know you don't have anything and so uh, you know to me you know as far as personally uh, without music I don't know I feel like I'm not whole but uh, this song is called Nada man you know what I'm saying uh, it, it, it's uh, like I said it's just one of those songs that I just kind of just kind of felt you know close to as far as just what, what I was, what I was feeling, what I was doing, what a vibe, you know what I'm saying? Um, the hook, everything, man. It was just kind of came out, and I felt like an artist. Like when I created this, I'm like, I can just drip, you know, all this into this, into this recording, you know what I'm saying? And 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 it just came, it came natural, man. And so that's a, that's the song that I want. I want, yeah, it's, it's called Nada. 
It's called Nada. All right, party people, let's get into the next song from uh, Grifa in the Surge uh, Studio Game Room. Um, you know, when we when we when we put this together, like man, we thought about um, you know a commercial spot and having you know the the blandness of a music studio. But we were like, man, what better than what better way to do this than from the comfort, you know? And it's like you know, so it's a relaxed environment for everybody, and everyone can just kind of get rid of the anxiety and the nerves and the jitters of being on a you know doing a studio interview and everything like that and and you know uh um we just need to uh we just need to smoke some grifa hey let's just do that then we're complete oh sorry <laughs> so uh let, let's get into that to this song and uh we're gonna we got grifa in the house and uh, you guys uh make sure that uh, we're gonna go over social media and everything shortly so uh y'all, you guys just hang tight the name of this track is nada on the surge dfw Grief on the Surge, DFW. The name of that track is Nada. Heard here exclusively uh, on the TuneIn radio app and, of course, on Odyssey. Yo no tengo nada. What's up? What's up? Nothing. Nada. Nothing is up. I think I'm tangled by this cord over here. Oh, yes. So I like that one. Yes. I think I like the first one better. So we have to see... What the next one is? My man's be. got a smooth voice, for real. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes, um, I believe 
that we should take him up on his offer. I don't know about being in a video, but I think we should definitely go and check the video out. I'm definitely down to be in it. Yeah. You want to be in it? Because I require attention. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's this thing, yeah, that we talked about. And I, I believe I, I say that men feel like they need attention. And so this is, yeah. That's yeah. the only reason why I'm a DJ, so I can have a t get attention. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not nothing about things. playing music. Whatever. West Side. West Side. Um, so, yeah, but I definitely think that'd be cool. Like, I mean, I wonder, like, what the vision is for the video. Because if it was, like, a club type, you know, thing, then, I mean, you know, but uh, then a DJ. But I don't know about a DJ, like, whatever the vision is. Like, where a DJ would fit in that. Um, I'll just smoke the grifa. Oh, my gosh. That'd be cool, too. <laughs> You know, you always see all the guys, you know, hanging out in the videos. They're all smoking, you know, and just drinking. So I guess that'd be, I mean, you'd fit, you'd fit in really good. Yeah, I think uh, um, I think uh, he should definitely uh, have a whole uh, whole line and a whole brand and, and a whole store. We'll have uh, Grifa papers and uh, Grifa bongs and uh, uh, Grifa. Just everything Grifa. Grifa, what else? Um, Grifa detox. You know, whenever you got to take the uh, drug screen, you got one of those, uh, one of those uh, detoxifying type things. So we were talking about, do you do you have a vi do you have a vision for the um, for the video, like for this this one that you're gonna do? Um, the first one that I said, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, as far as uh, jet lag, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I've been we've been coming up with ideas and stuff like that. Um, I was supposed to shoot it over like a month ago, okay. But some things didn't go the way they were, sh you know, they should. So I had to reschedule. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've got some ideas, really. Okay. Um, I, you know, it's, it's I guess as uh, as, as far as video video goes, I've been used to like uh, some of my videographers kind of like taking control. Yeah. And like do this, do that. Yeah. You know, I mean. As far as the wardrobe goes, uh, I trusted my last videographer. Like, hey, man, what do you think I should wear? You know, mm -hmm. and, I, and I would show him. I'd bring all this stuff with me. He's like, yeah, no, do this and this. And so I trusted him that, you know, as far as that goes. But he's been so busy. So I guess what, I, what I'm saying is, yeah. yeah, I've had to come up with more ideas. Like, okay, okay. what am I going to do? For this video see you so know? i'd have to listen to jet lag again but that one so i was going to ask you your i wouldn't say favorites but which would you choose and so i was going to ask you if you would choose um tego or donamar so okay so i guess as far i, I mean i know who tego is yeah. i've heard of his name but obviously I'm going to relate more to Don Omar. Okay. You know, and yeah. so, yeah, I mean, I would obviously go with Don Omar. Yeah. See, I'm... I'm not really <laughs> hip on a lot of the names. Yeah. Now, I, I've heard the music, you know, yeah. stuff like that, but the names... Yeah. There's so many different, like, oh, diff I know, different I know. names that it's like... So the I tell little Chris, this and little yeah. that, and then, you know... And I tell Chris, you know, with a lot of the, the reggaeton artists that this, they're... A lot of them, to me, sound the same. Now. Um, back then, you know, we had like the Wee and Yandel and, and, yeah. um, and um, you know, who else was it? Uh, one of my favorite songs is uh, Chevere by Voltio. And that, and then um, Chris plays, um, what is the song called by Aquid? Oh, uh, Aquid, yeah. 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 No, yeah. Manera. Yeah, I and, so. and song. you know, those songs were just different. And now, and, and I'm pretty sure a lot, I'm going to, you know, if I cared, but somebody will say something. But you know, I know Bad Bunny is is you know popular, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. and and Jay Balvin, and you know Maluma. But to me, I just when I hear Chris play it on the radio, I cannot tell the difference. Right. And so, I guess back then, a lot of them they kind of the the beat maybe sounded the same, but right. they put their own spin, you know, on yeah. on stuff like that too. So um, that's why I asked, you know, about them, you know, but. Um, I mean, um, like I said, I yeah. listen to a little bit of everything. And, yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, like I said, it's kind of a shock to me that, like I said, I I just create music. And yeah. then I like, hear lately, you know, in the past like yeah. a year and a half, whatever, I've been doing a lot of more, uh, you know, the reggaeton. But I guess yeah. this is because I've been in that vibe and oh, I've been yeah. feeling it. And, uh, but it's I, definitely I mean, a great genre, you know, yeah, 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 to, yeah, of for music. Sure. Like uh, Calle Tresa, I love. Yeah. I just, you know, the videos and stuff like that, too, were just were different. And so what I was going to tell you is that I see you like, and I'm pretty sure there's a video of some sort, you know, out, like I, I actually like uh, the video with, um, 
I can't even remember the name of the song, but like Drake and all of them, you know, they're kind of hanging out like at a dinner table, but you know, they're like in suits and stuff. So yeah. this one is something probably that would probably be something good for you where you're like dressed, but th that's not really like a hype song. So that would be something to where like you're kind of, you know what I mean? Like it's just like a chill song, but um, I mean, that's just kind of like what I saw whenever I was listening to it, you know, just as an idea. But we were trying to find a role for Chris because I was like, if he was in a nightclub type thing, you know, he could be a DJ, but you know, I mean, it's just, you know, with so many videos, you just get so many ideas out there. But for that song, I just kind of, I just, for some reason, I just saw you like in a suit in a chair. So, so, what, so I mean, you, yeah, like something, that, yeah. you know, yeah. So what you saying? We need sexy grifa. I mean, <laughs> smooth well, grifa. You know, I mean, it's when you hear the when you hear the song, it's it's the because everybody's using the word vibe, so it's the vibe that you get from the song. Okay. You know, I mean, yeah. yeah um, so I mean, uh, there's definitely gonna be yeah. a suit in there. Okay. Yeah, we've all seen, you we'll know, up, people, you Bam. know, driving in the cars, you know, singing while they're driving down the freeway, you know, just stuff like that too. We but, can all hang I out mean, the windows if you want. <laughs> Dude, shit, let's do it. But Come I mean, on, that's let's... what I see yeah. for you for that song. So I mean, that just okay. that just okay. you know something. We've done seen so many videos at strip clubs and all this stuff, but that I kind of see like you know. It's, yeah, it's yeah, a chill yeah. song. So and, something and I guess like you know, even when I when I came up with this song, it's uh, I remember. You know, we had gone to Cali and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We were flying. Yeah. Uh, 2020 was a, was a crazy year for everybody, obviously, you know, and, and, and uh, to all the people that lost people, you know, yes. uh, and, and all that stuff, you know. So it was hard. But at the same time, you know, we didn't want to stop living, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. everybody, it was, it was like being pushed to our mind. Our brains like, y'all need to stop, stay home, you know, whatever. Yeah. But as far as we could go, you know, we were being safe and everything. But, you know, we traveled. You know, we actually traveled a lot. Yeah. You know, that year we were like, you know, we're going to, it's cheap to go here. Let's go here. And, you know, so. Yeah. But we were being safe. You know, we were taking precaution. We had our, you know, our sanitizer and our, uh, you know, our. our Lysol our, our spraying everything life down. Life-saving masks on, <laughs> yeah. you know, and stuff. Superhero masks. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, all that. So, yeah, no, we went to Cali. Like I said, when that, that weekend we got there. Uh, and I just heard Kelly's doing the whole masking again. But oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so we, we went there and it, they had just opened that weekend. So that's what I was saying. People were clapping because yeah. they, we were 10 deep. So you can imagine what a restaurant looks like, like just a couple people. And all of a sudden, 10 people come in and like they didn't want to let us in. But then at the same time, they're like, well, we can't turn this business down. So they let us in. Yeah. And there's like it, the whole place looked packed. Yeah. But so, yeah, no, I mean, uh, that's kind of what I was feeling. You know, that that vibe, like. We got there and we got, you know, the first thing we did is get a bag. You know what I'm saying? We went, let's go get some bags oh, and yeah. smoke and enjoy. And, uh, you know, it, it was fun, like I said. But that's kind of what that vibe was, too, you know. Like, yeah, we're uh, living the life. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I think that's, and, it, and a lot of people, some people will take it the wrong way that they're like, man, you guys don't give a shit about the people that are oh, out no, there, you know, sick and die, you know, dying and stuff. And when we started the interviews, we had, we did most of them over the phone, right, which right. we still do, but. I mean, we always extended the invite, you know, just because if you're exactly. local and, and um, we had an artist, um, she's from Houston, um, shout out to Tierra Danielle, but I mean, she, she drove here, you know, and, and we were still, you know, That's we cool. were spraying everything oh, yeah. down and everything too, but I mean, it's just, you know, you just got to keep going, you know, and I think, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty sad, you know, that a lot of people have lost, and, and to know that that stuff may come back, exactly. you know, it's crazy, yeah. but um. I would hope that everybody would have gotten smarter from this past time that this stuff happened, you know, and, and I mean, I'm pretty sure you still have, your, you know, the cochinos that don't wash their hands and stuff when they go to the bathroom and whatever, but exactly. I yeah. mean, I've seen yeah, that, I see just, that a lot in work, oh, yeah. the field that I work in. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, with kids, I mean, kids, there's like no, ex you know, excuses, oh, yeah. you know, you're teaching them, but adults, oh, hell no. Yeah, no, so, yeah. I get mad when I see that. I'm like, yeah. come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, so we're just like... Let me turn the faucet on for you. Oh my gosh! Exactly. Like, I mean, we got hand sanitizer, you so it's like, yeah. You, oh yeah. Yeah, it's, no. it's kind of. I mean, you know how many people touch doorknobs and yeah, and I I get scared the to touch them sometimes. Buttons on the the little Everything. keypads for your you know credit cards and stuff like holy crap! And you just like said, I tell my kids, you don't know where that person's hands have been. Oh, and yeah. think about like the the dollar bills from the strip clubs, you know, and the, the, the money. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Never been one of those. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> so tell everybody your social media accounts and where they can Definitely, find yeah. you if they want. So um, I'm, you know, y'all hit me up on Instagram, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Grifa. Uh, so it's uh, hashtag Grifa underscore eight one seven. So hashtag G R I F A underscore eight one seven eight one seven Funky Town. Yeah. So uh, y'all make sure to hit hit me up, man. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, you can just actually Google that uh, hashtag G R I F A underscore eight one seven, and all my stuff comes up. Nice, nice, nice. So I did see an ad for the uh, pop, popple, pop, the thingies, you know, with the business cards and stuff like that, too. And we will say that out of all of the years that we've just done events and stuff like that in general, and just even with, you know, music, that you were the first one. And so um, I've actually inquired about getting us some of, you know, those just because that's it's fucking smart. And I'm pretty sure, you know, yeah, but I mean, it was pretty cool. Man, and I've been doing this for many, many years, and I've <laughs> never been given a flash drive with music. Hey, I, yeah. I, I, you know what, man? Uh, I'll be honest with you. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I, I sold all my uh, CD duplicating stuff like last year, okay. uh, a year ago. I had I had duplicators to make CDs and stuff like that. You know, I've always been on my grind, man. Yeah. Anywhere, if I had a, if I have a show, I'm gonna have something to sell, yeah. or you know, because that's where us artists, people may not know that. A lot of times we might get paid a little at a show, but you make your you make your money by selling your merch. Oh you know? yeah, that's where your money comes from, and that's where you make your money to make more merch and, and what, yeah. so on and so forth. But yeah, no. So I sold my CD duplicating equipment, and I'm like, man, this is the way to go. <laughs> I'm like, this is what I'm gonna do from now on because, yeah. I mean, I got a car. She got a car. Nice. We without a CD player in it is what I'm getting at. Okay. You know, like yeah. my my car didn't have a CD player. I'm like, where the yeah. hell is a CD player? Yeah. Like, Okay, because I have a whole booklet full of CDs from back in the day still, you know? He's got, and like, so, nine. There you go. So, you know, now if you get a car, they don't come with CD players in it. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that's great. But they come with USB ports. So. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and, and it's, it's, um, it's very, very soon that you're going to buy a brand new car and there's not going to have an AM, FM dial on it. Yeah, probably. You know, so, exactly. so I guess we were kind of planning for the future. And, uh, uh, you know, this is why, you know, we want to make this... Uh, accessible for the world you know yes, sir. and uh um and, and use it as a platform to uh you know um where people could come and and uh, give us good music because uh, you know unfortunately in this business and i know you've been doing this for a while it's just like yeah, yeah. there's just there's just just not you know there's there's too many stipulations tied to uh, get music played you know uh oh, com- yeah, commercially and and you know and so if, if anyone came to us and say hey we're going to give you a radio station you know, as long as we get uh, artistic uh, freedom, you know, to push, you know, you know, obviously push the people that pay the bills, you know, but at yeah. the same time, get an opportunity to say, hey, man, you know, this uh, grief has got a brand new song and we want to put it in the rotation, you know, and as long as, you know, we get that type of uh, um, freedom, then, yeah, we'll take on a commercial radio station any day. But, you know, for now, this is what we got and uh, this is what makes us happy. And, you know, and we're going to ride it till the wheels fall off. Till the wheels fall off. That's or until right. we get some... Some, a strain called Grifa. Yeah, until we get Grifa strain, <laughs> and then yeah, we're, yeah, I'm gonna get you guys some, man. I'm gonna, that's I'm gonna, gonna be get you guys that's gonna be up. awesome. Yes, if it can heal my 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 back my lower yes. back pain, then for sure. It'll I'm come not with even a gonna massager. ask Chris. Yeah, I'll just I'll just pay for it. Then, then you're gonna have somebody you're gonna have somebody rapping a song smoking on that Grifa. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, yeah. That'd be, that'd, we so, talked about this. Hey, hold on. So I did want to say that also in my video vision, I see you holding some sort of glass of wine. Glass of wine. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you're a wine drinker, but you may want, it may, maybe I shouldn't have said wine, but mm. some type of like something that you drink. I'll, I'll drink Do you get what I'm I'll saying? I'll drink wine. I mean, so, I don't mind wine. I don't know if you, Chris is like a whiskey, is it whiskey? Whiskey bourbon. Whiskey, whiskey bourbon. bourbon. So I don't know what you drink, but that's that's I'm, my vision. I'm a big uh, beer drinker. I love really? beer. Yeah, I okay. love my beer. So see, it could be one of those, you know what I'm talking about, the glass, yeah. Sarah. Yeah, but yeah, so whatever gonna, you drink. But if, that's what I see. If we're going to be bougie like that, then we can get me a wine glass and we'll put some Mad Dog in it. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Mad Dog. Okay. Yeah, some Mad Dog yeah. 20, so MD hey, 2020. We'll be drinking some Mad Dog on that video. Yeah, that'd yes. be for sure, for sure. And then I'll be in the back smoking the grifa. Smoking the grifa. I just I want to smoke some grifa too. <laughs> Tell us yeah. about non-essential, bro. Uh, so man, um, that song, man. Like again, um, okay. So most of my music, to be honest with you, man, I'll I'll get in that booth. Uh, I record myself, by the way. Um, I I do everything from the point A to point B, other than my mastering. But so non-essential, man. It came one night. I was just freestyling. And that's usually what happens. I don't write anything down. 
um, I, I've been trying to start writing again because you know I'm trying to get that back open but I just freestyled this song man I just kind of came out I was I was feeling the way I was feeling um, I've had some some difficulties with some people uh, obviously I, I was listening to one of your shows and, and you guys mentioned it's like man, there's a lot of shadiness in the, in the music industry oh, yeah. And so that's kind of where I was coming from, man. And so, um, but at the same time, what I told you guys, we were traveling. You know, we've been we've been having a good time with my, you know, family members. We've all been going. We went to Jamaica, Cancun, oh, wow. uh, you know, and, and like I said, L.A. and stuff like that. So at the same time, you know, we were having. I was having these difficulties with this person, um, basically reporting my music as if it was his. It's weird, you know. There's actually people that exist out there. They were reporting it like as it was their music, and I'm like, hold up, man. <laughs> you know what? I, I didn't worry about it. I, c I kept creating music, and so from in one year, from creating these songs to 20 songs, you know, uh, you know, just to show, like, I don't need anybody to create a song, bro. Like, but the fact that it was they were actually claiming it was their music, I was like, I don't need anybody. I, I can do this. By, my, by myself, you know what I'm saying? And so I proved it by creating that much more music with an artist, creating, you know, all this stuff. And so that kind of went non-essential. To me, it was like, you're not, you're non-essential. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not non-essential in my life. Like, look how many more music, how many more songs I created, and you say that I needed you to create music. I'm like, no, <laughs> you know? So I was going through one of those things. It was kind of like, you know, you know, it's like, it, it was just, it was not, it was a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, injustice, if you must. Yeah. Injustice, and uh, but I didn't. I didn't let it get me down. And then I created more music. I kept creating music. That's what. That was my outlet to be like. I'm not worried about what you're doing. So, at the same time, I was traveling. That's kind of what the hook says. I'm like, you worried about it? Well, I'm out here just enjoying my life. Yes. You know. So that's kind of what it come from. Yeah, what it came from, basically. And that's that's musical artistic genius, man. You know, uh, um, man, I commend you on that, and that you know to to. Man, that's shitty, man. I mean, you know, but but oh, oh yeah. I mean, oh, it's, yeah. you know, you dust it off your shoulder, move on, and you know, and and, and oh, it, it, you know, you got to learn from your from your mistakes, man. And so that's kind of where my you know where I'm at. I'm like, I mean, the more I'm going, the more I'm growing, and I'm learning. You know, what I'm saying I'm learning that uh, that you have to go, you have to learn that people like that exist, so that you can be careful in life. And it's just it's I'm I'm just glad it happened now in my life. Versus, you know, in a higher state where I'm maybe, you know, soon or later, you know, that, dang it, I found that I found this out too late, and now I'm out this much or this much, you know. At this point, I'm out just, hey, friendship, okay, it was great, but at this point, that's all I'm out, you know. Hey, it was great, but at this point, I'm moving on, yes. you know, to a higher level, to, to far from what I, you know, what I've experienced with this person. So, I'm just glad that, then I can I can learn from this, you know, that, if anything. Awesome. All right. We're going to get into uh, non-essential on the Surge yeah. DFW. We got Grifa in the house. Oh, and uh, you guys, make sure you check them out on uh, social media and uh, show some love. And uh, I'll check this out. It's Grifa, non-essential on the Surge DFW. Yeah. It's a blessing, and they don't see it until they fuck it off, and then they see it, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, 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 hey, yo, what the fuck you doing? Gotta keep it going, I gotta keep it moving, Cause you know you ain't got shit on me Maybe you don't understand 
understand the truth will set you free It'll set you free Puede vacaciones mientras tú te preocupas Puede vacaciones mientras tú te disculpas Hey, yo, what the fuck you doing? Gotta keep it going, I gotta keep it moving Hey, tú, ¿por qué tú me sigues? Cause you know I got it, you know that I'll be winning Yo, tú, ¿por qué tú me sigues? Cause you know I got it It's the Grifa Hour on the Surge, DFW. If the shoe fits. Oh, sorry, Shell. Let me cut you back on. What is the deal? You always forget my mic. You're fired. Because because uh, that mic is easy just to turn the, the lever up, and then yours has got like a button that I got to remember to push. So before hmm. we would tell our kids that the motto was, don't start no shit, there won't be no shit. So now it's going to be like, if the shoe fits. Put it on, put it on bitch. bitch. Put it on. <laughs> that needs that needs to be on on the back of shirt. Yeah. So let's talk about merchandise. Yes. Do you have merchandise right now, or are you working on merchandise? Um, I mean, yeah, I've got okay. merch at home. Okay. And stuff like okay. That. Cool. Yeah, you know, of course, okay. like I said, yeah. I'm always trying to yeah. have something ready for my peeps. Okay. So yeah, that'd be pretty awesome to. Um, that needs to be his bumper sticker. Uh, yeah. Stupids, put it on, bitch. Yes. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yes. I mean. Maybe with a pause, bitch. <sighs> so yeah, on social media. Um, sometimes, you know, cause I'm, I'm per- pretty sure Sarah has been on in- Pinterest and so Pinterest, you know, has stuff and then you're like, just Google everything. But you know, the funny thing with social media is that sometimes when you see quotes and you see people like, you know, put stuff, it's just like, man, who thought of that? You know what I mean? And so I used to think that way with Jerry Springer, you know, when he had his final thought at the end, because, yeah. you know, it was always about love and stuff. And I was like. Damn, you know, like that's powerful, you know, and and Jerry Springer's powerful. Yeah, you know, granted, after you just saw two chicks fighting over a dude, or vice versa, or you know, someone was doing, you know, whatever. So, it's just it's it's crazy that you know we see those you know things, and we're and it makes us think for a second, you know. And so, um, I'm glad to know that you have a, a good support system, just because, um, you know, I mean, in this day. In this day and time, it's like we have so many people that are quick to judge. And we all have opinions, but I think sometimes a lot of people, the, their opinions are coming off as like ju- judgments, you know, versus just being like what your thought is. And I don't know if you understand that, but I mean, nowadays, you know, women are taught to, or we're, we're like trying to teach each other like women are supposed to empower, you know, the women, but then you see women doing stupid shit and you're just like, okay. And if you call them out on it, then you're, you're hating, you know, it's the same with, you know, with guys and, and now in the music industry, it's just like, man, you know, like why the fuck can't everybody just do what the hell, if you're not bothering anybody, you're not hurting anybody, then why can't you just let them just do whatever they want to do? So yeah. I think with, you know, the support system that you that you've had, you know, just throughout your career, we just hope that you, you know, continue to have that. And, and that is one of the reasons why when you your song was non-essential and the story that was behind that song, um, we thank you again, just like we've thanked all the other artists, because when we're talking to you, you don't know us from anybody else, you know, and the artists don't know like what we're going to do with their music, you know, and. and we say thank you for trusting us with your music because we're going to do exactly what we say, you know, and, and, and that's why, that's why yeah. I make those things. I make, I make those USBs. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I don't think I've sold one since I've ordered them. I think I've yeah. given half of them away. Yeah. You know, like, here, man, listen to yeah. that. Play that. I mean, yeah. she's witnessed to be like, Hey, yeah. you know, I pulled up to somebody here. Listen to that. Yeah. You know, and just like, well, I don't even know who the hell you are. Why would I listen to it? But I'm like, I don't care. You know, just yeah. Maybe yeah, just they'll plug it. it in and listen. And, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's crazy, too, because we've had people, you know, message and be like, well, how much is it for me to be on your show? And right. I'm just like, what? You know, and, and then but our goal is um, 
nobody we all we all say as adults you know that nobody needs friends you know that we don't care what other people think and stuff like that too but a little bit of that is is not you know it's it's not true you know because we do but, oh yeah of course um you know and and um but i mean i'd say pretty much the majority of the artists that we've met you know we keep in contact with and and Definitely. you know and and we've we've become if not maybe I mean, we've become, you know, somewhat of friends, you know, and, and it's course. been cool just because, I mean, we, no, you we're know people, it, we're family people, we've got children, you know, we've got jobs, we pay our fucking bills just like everybody and else. You and you support yeah. what we love as artists, yes, music, yes, you yes, support and, music. Yeah. And so, I mean, anybody that's on, anybody that's on that side, it's, it's you know, they're on, on we're on each other's side. Yeah. You know, yeah. We're, we're sharing music, we're involved yeah. in music, and this is what it's about, is actually doing what we love and our passion and if, as long as you enjoy it, man, that's that's oh, why yeah. I do my that's why I do what I'm doing. Because yeah. at this point, I still enjoy making music, and I'm not gonna stop. I mean, yeah. until until one day I'm like, you know what? At this point, you know, I'm I'm working on that as well. I'm working with different artists, yeah. and trying to help them create their uh, image or whatever, you know, their sound or whatever. So, yeah. um, I mean, that's y'all. I mean, exactly. Y'all, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, thank you guys for doing what you do. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, for sure. It's just one of those one of those things where it's like, I mean. We don't we don't ask for anything, you know, and it's just like I mean, we're just we're still gonna continue um, doing it. So I mean, well, who we, knows? I think we need to have a little, uh, you know, surge, uh, you know, the, the surge show or something. Put some sort of a venue together, man, and have yeah, some artists. Maybe, you know, that'd be nice. That'd be you know, awesome, to, yeah. to to op- open up or do something like that. You know, that'd be nice. I'm actually thinking about doing something like that with that'd some be- local artists in DFW as okay. well. Uh, yeah. You know, working with these other artists that I'm telling you, I think, yeah. you know, they're, they're I've not. I've got a no, few artists, too, yeah. that I think would, I mean, definitely be. Um, we, we we had planned on doing something um, toward the end of July, but, I mean, it's 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 come sooner than later. Um, and so um, I'm actually going to be out for uh, a while. And so, um, I mean, we were just kind of like, we've been just talking about so many things, but um, I'm, I'm. I'm wanting to have like to host some type of like station appreciation and just because a lot of you you guys the artists as, as supporting us and then you know the listeners as well but um, my idea is just to have like one big you know like appreciation party but more so of, oh, if, nice. of it being an event to where yeah. all of the artists that we featured um, are able to come into network just because you exactly. never know who's who's who you know and who's who knows who exactly and so um I mean, it's kind of shitty. Chris and I have been together for a really long time, and there's been friends that we've introduced to other people, and then it's like, fuck, we don't even talk to those people anymore. But it's just like, hey, you know, the story will come out eventually. Like, hey, how did you meet so-and-so? And it's going to come, you know, out, you know, well, oh, because of this person or this person. But, I mean, we just, like I said, you know, I think I put it in a post, and I'm just one of those people that, like, if we were to have a party, I, I want to make sure everybody knows everybody because right, I don't like for right. anybody to feel left out. So... If we ever did something like that, um, I mean, it's, it's I'm like all great, hands on deck, you know? Idea. Yeah, yeah, just for everybody. I, I just went to, to um, so the the guy that masters my music, mm-hmm. uh, I'm, I'm, you know, shout out to him, my music and focus, uh, Chico. Um, you know, he, he's he's a, he's a phenomenal uh, producer, and uh, so he just had a mixer not too long okay. ago, and I went there, and it was it was awesome. It was like awesome. it was in Fort okay. Worth, and uh, it was it was actually very very successful. There was a lot of people there. Okay. It was just a little mixer, some drinks, and at the end of the at the end of the sh- at the end of basically the mixer, he had a. I guess he had one of his um, artists perform okay. right in front of all of us, and it was pretty cool. Okay. But it was a lot of people there, and I got to network and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's always a good idea. Yeah, that's pretty That's pretty awesome. Chris is, like I said, his, you know, we could get you on the stage at Wild sure. Acre, and, and um, shout out to, you know, to yeah, Blake and all nice. of them at Trend, Trend Music. Um, Trend Music, yeah, for sure. Yeah. We've been talking about them, actually. Uh, yeah. I actually sent them an email because I think, I mean, um, so, like I said, Chico from mm-hmm. Music and Focus, he stays busy all the time. Okay. And so we've been maybe thinking about going and getting our stuff mastered to them as well. Okay. So I yeah. think we hit them up and shot. That's that's who we that's who we hit up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Trendfest, Trendfest, and how that happened was so crazy. But um, and I'm not gonna you know tell the story because Chris is like, oh my god, here we go. But uh, we actually um, Fortress Fest when they had their music festival. Okay. Um, I you know had tickets for that. You know, it was for my birthday. <laughs> and um, and so, uh, of course, you know the the concert was canceled, you know, due to COVID, mm-hmm. and um, it was it was pretty sad for me. It was supposed but, to be you know, at that venue, though. Um, it's actually um, 
wherever they had the convention center, I think it was the convention, oh, okay, yeah, okay, somewhere okay. like that, you know. But it was an outdoor festival, and so okay, um, yeah. So when I reached out, you know, to them, they're at Fortress Fest and um, Fortress Presents, I think, mm-hmm. and um, so yeah. Then I started reaching out to them, and then I knew that you know, Wild Acre was coming out and stuff. So I was like, man, you know, let me find out about this Trend Fest deal, That's and awesome. so. Um, Blake and, and um, <clears throat> Zane, you know, and, and all of them, you know, are just wonderful to work with and stuff like that too. So, we we've we've got a Trend Fest artist coming tomorrow. Um, we've got two more um, next weekend. So shout out to Clancy and J Boy, and then we've got awesome. Joba tomorrow. Yeah, but I mean, yes, if you ever want to do something like that, like yeah, I mean, sure. please let us know because we have plenty of artists that we would love to to get to be able to perform. Definitely, that'd be definitely. that'd be awesome for sure. Okay. Just to be able to sit back and and see, you know, everything come together. So and we, we yeah. like we like uh, you know uh, uh, being around like minded people. You know that yes. uh, exactly. They they keep it. We everyone keeps it about the music and and you know whether there's monetary gain or not. But who doesn't want to get you know rich? You know uh, doing something they love. You know. Oh, yeah. uh, you yeah. know, but it's it's not about. Any type of you know monetary gain for us, just we want to be able to to help people like you know like your artists in your studio. You want to help them yeah, out, definitely. and and uh, and what happens is you become their legacy. You know they they'll always remember. Man, I went to Grifa Studios and and we did this and and you know and I always remember that guy. You know what I'm saying? And 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 so that's it's. That's something that we, 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 we always talk about wanting to do. So um. I mean, we need the money, too. We got three girls in dancing. I mean, shit, that's, that's expensive. So, but oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, but, yeah. I mean. I know how kid, yeah. I got a kid myself, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, our, our oldest, um, I mean, not our oldest, but our one that's going to graduate next year, she wants to move to L.A. I mean, that's what she wants wow. to do. She wants to dance, and it's just like, oh, my hey. gosh, you know, because that's where it's at. You know, if you're not doing music, you're, you're dancing, and so. Yeah. I mean, music is is on all the time here, and it's just, I mean, it's, if we could do something like that, I mean, it would be amazing just to to know that you filled a field of people, you know, like get like Coachella vibes. I mean, that'd be, that'd just be wonderful. It'd be be wonderful. And there's no better satisfaction for us whenever, you know, they're one of our, we, we designate the artist surge artist, you know. And when, whenever there's a surge artist that plays on the station, and someone walks up and says, "Man, that's a badass song," yeah, and then we get the satisfaction. Well, well that's a grifa, and they're yeah. like, "Man, you know hey. that's that's." And, they, and then they start hey. looking. They're like, "Man, I like the song." And and what's the name of the song? And and we'll tell them this is a song. And you know, you know where I can get it. Yeah, you can, this is where you can go. You know, for that one time, whether it's you know Apple Music or whatever, you know wherever exactly. you know people can purchase your music. If that happens. Then we made a difference, you know, and that's yeah. that's that's kind of what we do. So, yeah. you know, we 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 definitely appreciate artists. Let me ask you something, yes, sir. When you do get some time off and you're not making music, what do you like to do? Uh, make music. <laughs> <laughs> make music no. and make music. Well, I mean, I, I, got, I was saying, I mean, I'm I'm a father. Uh, I got a little girl, man. She's seven years old, so that's that's what I do, man. That's my main thing is providing for her and. Uh, you know, being a good dad, man, and showing her, you know, the the best that I can, and and uh, being the best example of a man that I can be. What kind of uh, music does she like? She likes everything. She okay. she's um she listens to so she likes my music, which I'm I'm glad. She'll she'll actually hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Um, yeah, <laughs> you're a little we, visitor. Yes, um, she's definitely a handful. I got three of them, so you're good. Oh really? Yeah, it didn't yeah, shock me anything. I'm like, oh. Uh, um, what do you call it? Um, yeah, so ours, um, so our youngest uh, just turned nine. Okay. But yes, oh, wow. oh my god. So you guys know, you guys know what's up then. Yes, yes, yes. So that's great that she um, listens to, you know, like everything. Just because, I mean, right, she's right. got you guys. So oh you yeah, guys no, she, listen. she, like I said, she, she listen to my stuff, but um, she's always watching her own little music and stuff. I just showed her. Yeah. Um, some Offspring, yes, last night actually. You know who Offspring is? No. Okay, so, so Offspring is a grunge band. They okay. uh, they sing some, you know. I grew up listening to them, and so I, lis- I let her listen to some of that, and she fell in love with it. So. Oh wow. Yeah, she uh, she asked me to put it on her phone, and I yeah. kind of dialed it in her phone, and like there you go. That's, That's what Daddy cool. used to listen to. That's pretty much what I showed her. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I think um I think if people just all just sat back and kind of just listened to all genres of music, they would appreciate no matter if it's the Hano, no matter if it's K pop, like you said, grunge, you know, heavy metal. Um, we have someone coming, um, actually uh will be on the show in a couple of weeks and um he's doing um uh, trap metal. 
trap metal. And, um, and so he was like, is it okay, wow. you know, because, Sounds you know, cool. I talk about a lot of things in my music. And I said, hey, you know, it's no different from, you know, someone rapping about, you know, getting bitches at the club or, you know, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, and I don't song. know, because you know what, and I think it's, it's all like, you know, when R. Kelly, that whole thing with R. Kelly, you know, happened. It's just like people were, I mean, they were taking down his music, his videos. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. and of course. it's just one of those things. Like, I mean, where where does it end? You know what I mean? Right. So, I mean, yeah, we... we I mean, I grew, I grew up on R. Kelly. So, I mean, I mean, yeah. I can't, I, you can't take that away from me. I mean, I yeah. grew up to it and I listened to it and I loved his music. And so you can't take yeah. that away from me. Yeah, I think That's it's, what it is, it's you know? crazy. But, I mean, music is music. So, yeah. it's just like, if it was, I think if people just, like I said, you know, kind of sat back and just kind of listened to it and just appreciated it for what it was no matter what kind it was exactly yeah it'd be uh, a lot a lot of people would be find their thing and be okay so yeah, yeah. i was just thinking um totally off the subject what if grief i replaced cilantro on tacos oh wow. my gosh so you have you buy some tacos and you have some some yeah. cebollas y grifa yeah, I mean that, I that you, you'd have a lot of uh, you know happy people, smiling people. Yeah, I mean That'd they're they're. Awesome. I mean, it, it actually, I have a you know a little story behind. Uh, <laughs> my mom was at one of our. I think she was. I think it was a 420 party. I don't know. She didn't know she was at a 420 party. <laughs> um, but I um, we gave her a lot of strawberries. You know, chocolate covered strawberries. Oh, you know, gosh. infused. Uh, chocolate infused, infused wow. chocolate, and she was like, "Oh, these are so good." You know, <laughs> of course, uh, you were saying earlier, like, yeah. I can't believe you know you. I guess that your the Spanish is your first language, but yeah, yeah. she would she would tell me, "Oh, las fresas están bien ricas," <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, mom, keep eating, you know, keep eating those strawberries." And and, and uh, she said she was feeling good and stuff like that, so you know, we never really told her that she was. Uh, Eating yeah. infused chocolate, yeah. Oh wow! But, so um, you know what? I bet you, if you gave her like regular chocolate covered strawberries, she'd probably like. They're not as good like, as the hey, last ones. Yeah, yeah, we're <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So. But yeah, give I us mean, a song to uh, to end the interview with, bro. Um, let me see. Uh, what song is a good day in the interview? Yeah, let's 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 um let's let's do the temptation, man. Uh, that's a, that's like I said. That's another song that you know. It just kind of came natural, man. You know, uh, I get in the vibe. I listen to the the beat and uh, whatever comes comes out is you know basically what I'm gonna go with. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's another one. Temptation is is a, a song like I said. I, I enjoy doing as well. Like I said, I enjoy doing all of it, man. But you know, these are my songs that I I just kind of focus on uh, on you know just in, enjoying them, getting them mastered the right way and everything, making them sound good. You know. Man, you know when it when it comes to uh, to to music and playing music, I mean we can we can play music and talk all night, and you know we, we appreciate you guys for making the drive, and we know yes, that yes. Uh, you got to drive to get back home, so we don't want to keep you guys you know too uh, much. You're good, man. You're good. Uh, um, but you know we we appreciate everything that you do, yeah, and uh, um, you know just just and, to, just to get to see you know artists and the talent that goes into it and, and everything, and and uh, it's just. It's just really special for us and you know and uh just yeah, definitely it's special for us man especially like i said it's uh, you guys opening your doors to your home and uh you know just having you if having us here man and, and the comfort of of your home and like i said it's chill you know so i like it man i've had a great great night tonight uh you know surge man dfw uh props thank to you me. guys man love to you guys uh you know just just thank you for what you guys are doing and continue doing it man because uh uh, people like us, you know, we're going to back you up all the way. Appreciate thank it. You, thank you. And, of course, you know, I mean, any music that you have that you want to send, videos or anything. Oh, yeah, for sure, for and sure. And so to our listeners, um, you guys can, um, you will start hearing Grifa. Um, is it tonight? Uh, I'll get tonight? it on. Or tomorrow. It'll well, be on the in rotation the tomorrow. Definitely. Yeah, tomorrow. Uh, and then um, you guys, you know, can uh, check him out on Instagram. And um, do you have a, what is your, your YouTube's the same? Do you have so a YouTube? So, yeah, yeah. If, like I said, if you look it up under uh, okay. uh, uh, hashtag uh, G-R-I-F-A uh, underscore 817. Okay. So, Grifa, uh, hashtag Grifa underscore okay. 817. Uh, if you just Google that, man, you'll find, you know, my YouTube, my yes, uh, all my yes. social okay. media and everything. Uh, again, uh, hashtag G-R-I-F-A underscore 817. You guys, we're going to sign out, but um, my name is Michelle, and you are... Cool, Chris. And we are the Search DFW. Good Surge night. Check us out DFW. tomorrow night.
DFW. Yeah. On the Odyssey and TuneIn radio apps. <laughs> 